Welcome to this video. We'll pick up where we left off in part one. Draw a line from just above the tire's ellipses to the vanishing point. It doesn't need to go all the way to the vanishing point, it just needs to go on one page. Rule another line from just under the tire's ellipses to the vanishing point. Next, draw an ellipse where the lines are tapering. Make the ellipse a tiny bit smaller than the lines. Also, this ellipse will be about two tie widths away from the first, as you can picture. Draw another ellipse inside this one, which will look a little bit more like a circle. Put a dot in the middle of the smallest ellipse on the front wheel and draw the line back to the vanishing point. To add to the thickness of the wheel, draw curved lines parallel to the outer ellipses. There will be one per wheel. Make the curved lines stop just before they reach the perspective line. Now add tiny curves to the largest ellipses. For each wheel, make the curves face in towards each other. These lines will actually touch the perspective line. Next, draw straight lines along the perspective lines in between these tiny curves. We'll sketch in the axle now. In about the centre of the back wheel, but a bit to the right, draw a dot on the centre perspective line. Draw two straight lines, one either side of the centre perspective line. These two will finish at where the dot was drawn and at the front tyre. Draw a little curved line at the dot's end, joining the two outer lines of the axle. We'll continue this in the next video.